The number of countries helping out in the desperate search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 has grown considerably. CNN reports the search team has expanded from 14 to 25 countries. Malaysia's acting transportation minister called the shift a, quote, significant recalibration. And as the search radius grows, so has the investigation into how the flight went off the radar. On Saturday, the New York Times pointed out the search had turned into a criminal investigation. Malaysia's prime minister said Saturday it's clear that deliberate action was taken on the flight when it veered off course last weekend. And now police are investigating whether the pilot and co-pilot might have played a role in the 777's mysterious disappearance. Police have searched the home of the flight's pilot and reportedly seized a flight simulator to investigate. Police also searched the co-pilot's house, but it's unclear whether police took anything from there. And investigators aren't stopping there. Al Jazeera reports Malaysia has asked for background checks on all the passengers who are on the flight and for any radar information that could show where the plane has gone. The week-long investigation has turned up little information about the flight, and the BBC notes investigators are looking at a wide variety of causes for the disappearance. So terrorism, piracy, or even an elaborate suicide are all options now being considered. The plane's transponder last communicated with ground radar over the South China Sea. According to the Malaysian government, the last known location of the flight on satellite was over the middle of the Indian Ocean. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.